Now, from Into Tomorrow, this is an ITTV special report. Broadcasting from the Intel exhibit, and our next guest from a Korean-based company that develops one of the world's most popular massively multiplayer online games, NCSoft. He's Executive Vice President of Publishing for NCSoft, Ross Borden. Ross, welcome into tomorrow. How are you? Thanks, Dave. Great. Good. As well you should be. This is a place to be great and to have a blast and to network with folks and just to enjoy everything that you're doing. Uh, for non-gamers or, or those perhaps uh, just getting into it, uh, what is a, a, an MMO game so that <laughs> folks can get, a, get the big picture? Yes, what does that actually stand for? Yeah. Well, MMO stands for Massively Multiplayer Online Game. And uh, the more traditional uh, definition is MMORPG, which is Massively Multiplayer Online Role-Playing Game. <laughs> but what we really do is we create virtual worlds. Hmm. And, uh, and, you know, we call them Massively Multiplayer because we have thousands and thousands of, of players uh, playing together at the same time. And that's, that's kind of cool in and of itself. I mean, it's one thing to have an opponent on the sofa next to you. It's a whole other thing to have thousands online playing in real time and, and the strategies that have to be different and, and just all sorts of things that make that kind of online gameplay, I think, so much more fun. That's right. That's right. Um, I mean, we are, we are really uh, creating rich, rich virtual worlds uh, that many people treat as, as sort of a, a second life, if you will. Yeah. And, uh, and so a lot of people um, spend you know, hours and hours and hours uh, a week and sometimes a day um, playing with their friends, um, completing missions, socializing. It's That's a lot of true. fun. It is about socializing mm -hmm. as well. Certainly long before these other social media networks uh, gained mm -hmm. in popularity, this mm -hmm. has been happening all along in the gaming world. Absolutely. A and I think the, the MMO space really has uh, led the way in many respects. Um, the, you know, we do make these are games and and people do have uh, tasks that they complete and they fight opponents and monsters and all these sorts of things but in the end um, it's ultimately a, a, the social aspect that keeps people coming back to the game month in and month out. And of course in the introduction I talked about uh, your company having one of the uh, world's most popular MMO games. For those who have maybe have not have guessed yet what game would that be? You might be referring to Ion, perhaps. Perhaps, um, yes. <laughs> As extremely popular and, and a lot of folks playing it on a regular basis. That's right. And you, you mentioned that we're a Korean, a South Korean based company. And uh, South Korea is really the epicenter of, of online gaming. It's, it's the national pastime, is it not? Absolutely. I mean, uh, you know, like uh, here in the U.S., it might be football and baseball and so forth. There, it's online gaming. That is right. That's absolutely correct. And you have to, uh, you have to see it to, to believe it when you uh, visit uh, South Korea and you just see how much, of a cult how, how much of an important part of the culture online gaming is. Mm -hmm. It's absolutely amazing. And there's that social networking thing again, too, because it's mm -hmm. not just folks locked in their basement playing a game with who knows whom, no. it's really getting together and strategizing for the game and playing in teams and doing that sort of thing. Right? That's right, that's right. And, uh, you know, these days, uh, while many people have the opportunity that, you know, they can sit in their basement and socialize yeah. uh, across the Internet, uh, these days, you know, people are getting together, um, you know, in, uh, in the room together, in the dorms, uh, all these sorts of things. And the bottom line is they're enjoying each other's uh, company and uh, companionship and, and uh, just having a great time with it. And I imagine fun water cooler talk, too, as well. If you're at the, at the office the next day and, hey, we missed you in the game. You should have seen what happened or whatever. <laughs> it's all part of that social network. Right? That's right. And, you know, um, and sometimes, you know, uh, a lot of players take their responsibilities very, very seriously in, in these types of games. So we missed you last night might, might actually be a little bit of a serious thing for some people. <laughs> that's, so. a, that's a good <laughs> point. Yeah. And folks are now texting uh, dramatically to find out if they're okay in every sen sense of the word. <laughs> right, <laughs> right. And uh, call off the wedding. You have a game to play. <laughs> whatever it is. <laughs> so that's right. Tell me a little bit more about Ion these days, too. Anything new and exciting happening there or, or folks that are just getting pumped for different yeah. reasons? Yeah. Well, uh, you know, Ion's been a, been a tremendous global success for us. Um, it's obviously huge in, in South Korea. It's, uh, I, I believe, uh, currently the number one largest game in, in Korea, online Kudos game in Korea. Uh, and, of course, we've launched it all around the globe. Uh, it continues to be a major, major uh, game for us in the West. 
best in, in uh, North America and Europe. Mm -hmm. And we continue to update uh, the game with, with fresh content and things that, that keep people um, entertained and, and, uh, and having fun. Sure. And speaking of updates, City of Heroes, uh, those that are playing that game, uh, recent updates, something new happening there? Yeah, sure. Uh, you know, City of Heroes uh, is is more of a, a Western uh, title for us. That this was uh, developed here in, in uh, California. And... Uh, City of Heroes has been around for almost seven years now, and uh, and so uh, within the next couple of months, we'll be releasing our 20th major content update, and uh, and and this is what we do. The game is has been uh, amazingly strong for us, and our players are excited to to see that. And of course, since we're here in the Intel exhibit at the Game Developers Conference in San Francisco, how are all these games holding up with the latest Intel processors? I imagine it's almost like playing a whole new game mm -hmm. when you're able to play it on new processors. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, you know, Intel's been a fantastic partner for us, and uh, and a global partner for that. We've sure. been uh, working with Intel um, out of the east and and in the west. So uh, the opportunities uh, that uh, that working with Intel affords us are, are very very exciting. Not only now, but uh, for the future of our games. Do your developers get with some Intel folk early on and say, now here's something different we want to do, and how will it best work? And, yeah. And they all start brainstorming from the get go to really give everybody the richest. Experience experience possible. That's right. And the earlier the better. Uh, in the end, it's all about the customer experience. Sure. If we can create a, a better experience through it, then uh, everyone's going to be better off as a result. And you certainly don't have to be in South Korea to enjoy what NCSoft has to offer. They're doing it big time, but so is the rest of the world. So check out what Ross and his team are up to. Visit ncsoft.com for more. We'll link you there. Just hit intotomorrow.com and you're a mouse click away from all of our guests from GDC. Ross, thanks for spending a few minutes with us. And we'll let you get back out on this very busy show floor. Thank you so much.